All right, everybody, here we go with a video on linear pair and vertical angles. So a linear pair, two adjacent angles that form a straight line. So we've already worked with uh, some angles before that were next to each other with angle addition. Now a linear pair is just always going to be two angles that when put together add up to 180 degrees. Okay, it's going to form a straight line. Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles that share a vertex. Okay, but they're non-adjacent. So these two would be your vertical angles or adjacent to one another. Um, there you go. Those are your vertical angles, one and two. Uh, you could also have, say, another pair, three and four, that are up here. Vertical angles does not mean up and down. Um, in this case, vertical angles mean the angles that are opposite of one another when formed by intersecting lines. So, of course, we're just going to go play with those types of examples now. Um, we have number one and number two here. So, this is just getting you to think about what's happening. We have a 47 degree angle over here. We can use that to find the measure of angle one because they're a linear pair. They're going to add up to 180 degrees. So that would just make angle 1 133 degrees because 133 plus 47 is going to give you 180. And in example number 2, this is just dealing with vertical angles. So vertical angles, the thing about them is they're going to be congruent. And I'm going to prove it to you. So we have a linear pair right here. This is a straight line. So this is 102 degrees, so we would have to subtract 102 from 180, and we would have a 98 degree angle right there. And now you can see that this is also a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So if we subtract 98 from 180, we're going to find that the measure of angle, 10, or angle 2 is also 102 degrees. And then coming back this way, this line right here, it's still 180 degrees, so if this is 102, this is 98 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is 102 degrees, but one of the things you're going to find out is vertical angles are always going to be congruent. Vertical angles are always going to have the same measure. Okay? So let's throw some algebra on it. We've got number 3 here. We have a linear pair with some algebra. And in number four, we have some vertical angles. And you have to go back and you have to find a few angles. So this is pretty similar to the angle addition video. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try these. And as soon as you're ready, you'll see a step-by-step -step example when you click play. So go ahead and give them a try. So let's see. The first one, you have a linear pair two angles that add up to 180 degrees because they form a straight line. So we have 5x plus 14 plus 3x plus 6. We set that to 180 degrees. Combine our like terms. 8x plus 20 is equal to 180. So 8x is equal to 160. So x is 20. To find the measure of angle ABD, we just substitute 20 into our variable. 5 times 20 is 100 plus 14. ABD is 114 degrees. So if you got that right, good job. Number four, these are vertical angles. And as we just discussed, vertical angles will always have the same measure. They're going to be congruent. So for this, we need to set them equal to each other. 4x minus 12 is equal to 2x plus 38. And we're just going to go and solve. So we're going to get 2x is equal to 50. So x is equal to 25. Now that we know x is 25, we have to find the measure of angle DEC. So we're going to substitute 25 in here. 50 plus 38 gives us an 88 degree angle. So to find the measure of angle 1, now we're rewinding to the previous example and using a linear pair. So AC is a straight line. So if this is 88 degrees, 
and we have a linear pair here. We have to subtract that from 180 to find out that the measure of angle 1 is 92 degrees. All right, again, if you got that right, great job. So we have one example left, and this one does not require any algebra. What it does is it just requires you to find four missing angles when you are given two. Notice that all three of these lines intersect at the same vertex. So you have six different angles here at the vertex, and you're going to need to use some straight line and some vertical angles to see if you can find all four of them. Again, just try this one on your own first before I explain what to do. As soon as you're ready, click play. So it really doesn't matter which angle you start with, but the first thing I'm going to do is show you that that's a straight line. We know that straight lines are always going to be 180 degrees. So if this is 80 and this is 40, we're missing 60 degrees for angle 1. Now everything else is just a vertical angle. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles, so this is 60. 80 degrees is a vertical angle with angle 4, so this is 80. And this angle is 40 degrees, and angle 2 is vertical with it, so that's going to give us 40 degrees. So angle 2 is 40 degrees, angle 3 is 60, and angle 4 is 80 degrees. And that's it. So here's your video on linear pair and vertical angles. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.